There are a bunch of different cultivars of spruces, but all spruces in general have the same characteristics, um, although they may be slightly different. So the needles on a spruce tree, I like to say, exhibit the five S's. The needles are very short. They're sharp on the end, so if you touch them, it's gonna poke you. If you were to take a needle and roll it in your fingers, it's square. The needles themselves come out of the branch spiraling around the branch, and they come out singularly, meaning they come out by themselves, so they're not in a bunch. So remember, our spruces have those five S's. Short, sharp, square, spiraling, singular needles. The cones on a spruce tree will vary in length. Um, this is a Norway spruce. The cones themselves will have papery scales that are very easy to break and to remove. In between each one of these scales are a bunch of little winged seeds. So quite often you'll see things like squirrels coming along and tearing apart the, in the cone to get to the seeds that are in the inside. When that happens, it almost looks like a corn on the cob by the time the squirrel is done with it. On our spruce trees, the cones will hang straight down off of the branches and are generally found only about on the top third of the tree. Scientists theorize that that's because the wind will take the pollen from along the bottom part and it pushes us up towards the top of the tree and that's why the cones are usually found on the upper third of the tree. But remember, those cones on a spruce tree will always be hanging down off of the branch. The bark itself on a mature spruce tree to me, it looks like a bunch of little um, tiny plates. It looks very flaky um, and it is generally this brownish green color. Spruce trees in general tend to grow fairly straight, so they make good lumber trees. And that's our spruce.